Hey, Brian here. Uh, today we're going to talk about goal funnels and the funnel visualization. Um, I've just read a blog post about this actually, and GA has been pretty criticized over the year um, for not being super visual, uh, aside from obviously like these charts over time. Um, and I think that's pretty fair criticism. Uh, I think that it has made it up because I, I also think that there have been products made, um, and I'm going to use Kissmetrics, but I don't necessarily um, think that they were the worst offender. But um, lots of marketing tools are overhyped and they under deliver. Um, so Kissmetrics, used to, their big flagship feature was um, their visualization funnel. And I, you know, I don't think that this is necessarily a bad funnel, and this is what Google Analytics has now. So um, there is an easy way to go about this, and I will link to the blog post below. Um, but essentially, if you're in the admin interface uh, and you click on goals, we're going to do um, purchase completed. So purchase completed basically means that a transaction was completed. Uh, there's nothing to really check on here. Uh, you can use checkout complete. Uh, you can also use a custom goal, which is down here, which a lot of people do. Uh, if you have e-commerce enabled, you can use checkout complete. If you have something like a lead, uh, you know, that has to do a sign up for an email form, uh, I'd use custom. Um, you know, then we can use the destination. Uh, obviously, they have the destination here. And then, because it's a pre-made goal, and also this won't be grayed out when you do it yourself. Um, and then here's the destination URL. And if you see a weird slash, that means it's uh, using regular expression. So uh, that just means not to ignore that period. Um, but here's where it really matters, and I have a GIF and a visual of all of this in that blog post. Um, yeah, I mean, these are just the four steps that you go through. And it, important to note that um, reviewing the order is not the final step. They have to review the order, click submit or purchase or whatever, and they come to this URL. So don't include the thank you page after they've completed an order in this funnel. It will already be completed up there or included up there. Uh, so once you fill this out and you can give it a name, it's really simple. Make sure you have the URLs, and again, they're using regular expression. Um, then we can go back to a report down here under conversions, goals, funnel, visualization, uh, and we can just take a look at that one goal. And this is what we see. So the names on the left in the admin tab under goals uh, were these names, and um, yeah, we don't need, since they, they did have names included, they don't even have the URLs here. So what you're looking at is a couple things. Um, so this number is the number of entries, uh, or the number of people who saw that page. And this is actually sessions. So there are 5,977 sessions. Uh, 4,300 actually exited on that page. And then 1,600 went through to the next page. So, um, yeah, it's important to see what percentage actually make it through, and hopefully you can increase that percentage. If this was much lower, like 5%, then you know that you have an issue either with browser compatibility or something like that. So uh, definitely take a look at this and see how it um, flows over time. So now that we know that 1,665 came in here, um, we can see that number right here as well. Now it's important to note that the billing and shipping page has zero entrance. That's a good thing. Uh, you don't necessarily want people um, skipping the cart to go to the billing and shipping page or worse to the purchase completed page because then you get like really crazy numbers it's not actually a funnel if people can come in it at any point um, it's kind of strange so um, you know it's probably a good thing I'm sure there are use cases where you want people to just come into the payment um, or you want people to come in and choose billing and shipping uh, but that's not likely the case for most people so this number 1665 is the same here and then we had 175 exits. So after they reached the card, after they reached the billion shipping, 175 people did not reach the next stage, but close to 1,500 did. Uh, and we can continue to go down this, but I think that you probably get the picture. Um, you get the full conversion rate, so 15%. That's 900 people out of almost 6,000. Yep, about 15% of that funnel. And I think this is a pretty effective representation of... Um, you know how successful your funnel is, and I wouldn't look at these percentages uh, too closely. They're probably overinflated uh, because Google obviously doesn't want you to show you really sad and terrible data in this uh, this demo account. Um, but it is a really useful tool to see how people convert.
uh, through this funnel. So, uh, you know, if you want to pay for a funnel tool, more than welcome to do that. I'm sure Mixpanel and Kissmetrics would be a great fit for you. Uh, but I think for most companies, um, you know, just building this manually is probably a really good idea. And if you don't feel comfortable uh, creating it or maintaining it, just, you know, hire somebody to do it. If you have a developer, they can probably help you out. Um, it'd probably be really good to get hands-on with it. So I uh, hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.